This one concerns the pioneer in neuroanatomy, Franz Joseph Gall. And the structure of this sentence largely is about concision, about being not too wordy. So the first one, in Gall's hypothesis of their being, of their being, very indirect phrase. So we're not happy with that. Answer choice B, of different mental functions that are localized in. A very indirect way of phrasing it, very wordy and indirect, so we're not happy with that either. C, that different mental functions are localized in different parts of the brain. Wow, that's pretty direct. So we'll go back to that, but that looks pretty good. D, which is that there are, oh my God, really? This is just a train wreck, so that's completely out. And then E takes a completely different organization of the sentence. Gall's hypothesis, which is widely accepted today, is that blah, blah, blah. Well, first of all, this implies that we're considering several Gall's hypotheses, and here we're only focusing on the one which is widely accepted today, and that there are others that are not widely accepted today. That really changes the meaning of the sentence. So we'll get rid of that. And notice that right away that narrows things down very quickly to answer choice C. Answer choice C is clear, direct, sleek, and powerful. It is by far the best answer choice.